What is up guys? It is your least favorite moto vlogger, Brian636, coming to you with another build series installment. This episode has been highly anticipated. I know a lot of you guys are gonna cringe through some of this, but it is what it is. This is part of a stunt build. Today, we are denting the tank and we are cutting the windscreen. So both of these are gonna involve some pretty standard tools. You're gonna need a rubber mallet, a metal hammer, Dremel tool or a cutting disc of any kind, and some HT Moto. This is pretty basic stuff. First things first, let's start pounding this tank. All right guys, so everybody has their own unique technique to this. Um, some guys like to stand up on top of the bike. If you're gonna do that, you're gonna need a rear stand, balance it out. Um, I, every time I've seen Brennan or anyone else do these stunt tutorials, they start like this, they grab up a hole of here, and they just start stomping away at it like this. I do agree that the more uh, less fancy you are with it, the better it's gonna come out. However, I don't really like to stand up on top of here and pound away at the tank with my heel. I just don't. I like starting it off with the mallet and just running it like that the whole time. So we're gonna wanna start our impacts right here in the center um, and working our way out, pushing that dent farther in the back because you want the lip to be right and round in here. Uh, this whole time, something that you should have done beforehand is to make sure your gas tank opens and closes easily. Hopefully your tank isn't too full and uh, you guys don't have gasoline right up to the top or else you're gonna have gasoline pouring out of this thing. Cause we're gonna take this approximately 2.7 or three gallon tank down to about a one, 1.2, 1.3 gallon tank. So just like I said, start in the middle. And like these cracks like this, this is just a paint crack, but you're gonna wanna make sure to uh, stay away from that and try to work it out then. Um, but as you see, we're developing a dent already just from pounding on the tank with the rubber mallet. We'll use the metal hammer there later on uh, to really form the shape, but for now, just the rubber mallet's fine. Make sure you don't favor one side more than the other, so keep moving around. And yeah, all these paint cracks are totally normal. Don't worry, that's why we got the color match HT Moto. All right, so like I said, wanna be opening and closing it. It might be harder to open or close through some of this time because you've been pounding on it. Wow, that's really easy. Normally, normally they're actually really stuck. Uh, that's kind of bizarre. All right guys, so we're definitely getting the shape that we want now. Uh, picture your own butt in here. This is what's gonna be locking you in. So yeah, we're gonna go a little bit deeper, but we are gonna move the lip a little bit farther back. Uh, definitely the shape that you want and definitely uh, some of the results you want um, at this midway point. Make sure your gas tank opens and closes as always. Sometimes you're gonna have trouble with this. This gas tank is being extremely easy with me. Uh, it must be my lucky day. I don't know what's going on with that, but uh, that is nice. <laughs> Most of the time we're over here with like a flathead screwdriver just ripping it out. But uh, we're going to keep going and uh, finish up this dent. All right, I guess it's starting to look a little bit deeper jump into it the only way that you're gonna get used to it is if you can if you can sit in that yeah maybe a little bit deeper a little bit wider on the sides but it's feeling good just a little bit more shaping here
go ahead and open it. I'm definitely starting to smell the vapors of the gas getting pounded here, so open it one more time. Yep, there it is. A little bit of hang up, not much at all actually, but good. Cool. Uh, if you can look in here, you'll definitely see that, uh, I don't even know what this is called, but this mesh stuff is bottomed out in there. That's what you want. That's, I know it's crazy because you can't put gas in it right now. I'll get to that uh, in one second here, but that's what you want. That's kind of like a safety measure that Kawasaki put in in 2003 and 2004 uh, for us stunters because they knew that we were going to be pounding in these tanks like this. So they put that measure in. I'm totally kidding, but uh, it's definitely nice that it's there. <laughs> we're going to take a flathead and a hammer to it uh, to be able to get gas in the tank, but don't worry about it until you get your tank completely perfect. All right, guys, so let's do another ass test here when we jump into it. Just so like this, boom, jump spreader. Man, that feels good. Definitely locked in. Pull back out, boom, jump in the spreader. Yeah, it feels good. <laughs> so my ass is definitely in it, and uh, I'm definitely a larger guy, so whoever ends up getting this bike, this will definitely work. Will you be doing tank tricks right away or not? I don't know what your skill level is going to be. All right, guys, so if you did not already know, quick pause here from the tank then, you could win this bike simply by entering over on my Patreon for every dollar you spend a month up until this build is complete, which it is definitely nearing uh, completion here, maybe one, two more episodes, is a entry into the giveaway. So if you're at $5 a month for the next two months, you have 10 entries to win this full stunt bike. It's a great way to support the channel, and it's even a better way for you to possibly win an absolute gem of a 636. So next up, let's put some HT Moto on this thing, clean it up, and uh, get it really ready. So guys, grab some brake cleaner or something like that, spray it down in there. Uh, you want to get all this debris off of there. Make sure it's all the way cleaned up. That's way the HT Moto has a real good clean surface to attach itself to. Uh, any kind of alcohol or solvent that, that dries in the air will be fine. You just want to have a pretty good surface for this stuff to attach to because it is, it is going to be your grip that holds you in when you're in a wheelie or whatever you're doing on this thing. Well, shout out again today to the Six Shop for helping us out uh, with getting this traction pad and a couple of other little odds and ends to this giveaway bike so far. Uh, Nate over there was nice enough to send us over. So if you guys are over here uh, watching this build and are building a bike yourself, make sure you head over there and uh, get your parts from them. It comes in this little 16 by 20 inch square here. That you can put it down and it's plenty enough room uh, to do this for your tank. First thing is first, you're gonna really wanna start working this thing in uh, with the backing on, so you don't have adhesive in it yet. Uh, you start, you wanna work its shape in. And then guys, you're gonna wanna work from the center in after you already have it kind of pre-bent, pre-shaped, start from the center in. Remove your adhesive, it's got this 3M grip on the back. You wanna do this once and once only because after that, it kind of starts losing its grip. And start down in the middle. Now I know for a lot of you guys, that was probably pretty painful to watch a tank like that get pounded in, but there is something nice about having HT Moto and a more functional stunt bike. Uh, this is a stunt bike build, so I saw some of the comments down there saying, oh no, don't dent the tank, don't do that. They're not giving away a stock bike. This is a uh, full stunt bike build, and a lot of people do ask how to dent one of these tanks in the first place, because it is definitely an art. And then you can start working the lip. good as our HT Moto is going to get. That looks great actually. Pretty good color match there as well. Uh, it looks extra clean. It's a great little dent in there. Um, be perfect for anything from spreaders, high chairs, 50-50s, all the above. Uh, it looks really good. Pretty satisfied with this lip. I would definitely rock that in the streets any day. Uh, next up we're going to take a razor and we'll start cutting back on this gas tank. All right, guys, so I cannot stress how important this next part is. Uh, you're going to need a flat head screwdriver and your hammer. You're going to want to go slow. Um, you're going to want to make sure you do this right the first time. Remember I was talking about that little safety feature Kawasaki put in? Well, we're about to bang it out here. So we're going to come back in here with this screwdriver. 
and pound holes all throughout in here, just like that. So we can still get gas in the gas tank. Cause right now we can't get anything in there. So we're gonna go ahead and start pounding out back there. There you go guys. Um, you're gonna wanna look in there. Wow, that's plenty of room for gas to get in now. So we're good there. Um, that is about it for uh, your, your tank dent. Look at that. Now you got a fully dented tank, uh, ready to do anything from stand-ups to tank spreaders to high chairs to whatever you wanna do on this thing. Next up, let's cut this windscreen. All right guys, so next up is the windscreen cut. Uh, we are gonna absolutely imitate my bike. I love this cut. I know multiple guys that run it and uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you have your second bolt here, so your one bolt, your two bolt, and then uh, your mirror stud. I like to cut it right in between there. So you still have the second bolt there for support, but you get rid of the mirror studs and, and everything else. So first things up, and this is probably the longest uh, time you're gonna spend on this, is laying out your tape. So you wanna get that perfect curve right around the top there. So you wanna lay out your tape well. Get something that's of course not the same color as the bike. If this bike was black, I probably wouldn't be using black tape, nor do I wanna use blue masking tape on a uh, blue bike. So lay it out. Make sure you get your curve how you want it. Um, there's no right or wrong curve. I mean, you probably don't want any pointy parts or jagged edges for when you are uh, using this bike as a stunt bike. Sometimes I get this on my first try. Sometimes I get it on my 50th try. We'll see what today's looking like. First, the gas cap. Now this. This is going pretty smoothly here. So the next thing you're going to need, a Dremel tool with a little cutting disc like this. Uh, this one might be a little bit too small, so I might have to change it out halfway, but hopefully we just get this one and done. Another thing to remember, you want to do one pass, only one. Uh, you don't want to try start on this end and then meet on this side or anything like that. All right, guys, so I know the guys that are totally freaking out about the gas tank dent are really going to freak out when we start cutting the fairings. However, this cut is practical. It's something that we need. And at the end of it, it doesn't look all that bad. Uh, it looks like a more aggressive bike, if you ask me. Uh, so it is a good thing. However, I understand that these are getting harder to find and the parts are getting harder to find. So it might be hard for somebody to see this, but it is all in practicality and it's going to look really good. Make sure you're also wearing safety wear as far as eyes. All right, guys, so we just got done taking off the mirrors here. Take this off, some of the burnt edges. There, there you go, all done. This is an aftermarket screen, just how I suspected by the smell of it. Oh man, if YouTube had a smell. Now, as you guys see, we still need to cut these ears here uh, of the stealth stay, so we'll just go ahead, keep in line with them there. And these are metal. All right guys, so you see all these burnt charred ends here. Don't worry, just pick away at them. They come right off. All right guys, so talk about a transformation. Holy moly. I love the way that cut came out. Pretty much identical to my bike. The tank came out amazing. So the, every, everything down to the color, just to still being able to see the Kawasaki. It looks really good, especially for a stunt bike. It looks really good. All this stuff is just technique and taking your time, not rushing things and uh, making sure it all, number one, works correctly, and number two, looks pretty decent. Now guys, I know a lot of you are wondering what's the next episode here? We're drawing really close. Um, I think next up, we are gonna do the clip-ons, the handbrake, the handbrake line, uh, the handbrake bracket on the other side, as well as the rotor. And then uh, we might be test riding this thing as a finished product after that. Maybe I'll touch the tail for it, stuff like that. Uh, but by then we are going to be looking at doing the giveaway guys. So I'm getting really excited for this. I'm looking forward to not only getting to ride this thing, 
but really getting forward to looking to giving this bike to somebody really deserving and uh, somebody who's gonna give it a good home and ride it right. Guys, I saw it down in the comments a couple times and I think I need to address it. Some guys were saying, Brian, why'd you get rid of the tail light? Why'd you put a 12 bar back there? And you know, like I said earlier in the video, guys, or why you, you know, dent the gas tank, do all this. Guys, this is a stunt bike build. I wanted to do this build to inform people on what goes into one of these bikes and the best way to set them up. The best way to set them up might not always be the most practical, pretty, or street legal way. At the end of the day, this is a stunt bike. Whoever's gonna be riding it is most likely gonna be doing uh, wheelies or stoppies or whatever, doing burnouts. So as long as we have the headlights and it looks you know, pretty legal from a distance, that's about all we're concerned about. This definitely is one of the cleanest stunt bikes that's gonna be out there all 2020. So whoever wins it, I'm really looking forward to seeing your progression and what you do with the bike and uh, hopefully it goes to a good home. As always, this is your least favorite moto blogger telling you to sign in next time. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, please do. If you haven't liked the video, please give it a like. And uh, if you haven't left a comment down in the comments, please do that. Uh, let me know I did a good job, a terrible job, what you do different, whatever. And if you are not already signed up to win this bike, make sure to check out this link right there. I'm out, peace.